Now the reason I'm down here in my workshop instead of upstairs is because it's a lot brighter down here than it is upstairs. And what I'm about to show you here, do not try this. It's not a good idea. In fact, I don't even know if it's going to work yet. And uh, it's just plain not safe. So don't try it, please. Now the idea is, when I plug this in, right here, the current from the hot side will go up through this switch, then through the wire, it will pass through this 60 watt light bulb. And the reason I got a 60 watt light bulb in there is to act as a bit of a resistor. So the maximum amount of power that can be going through the plant is only 60 watts. Now that's actually quite a bit. I, but this is the smallest bulb I had. Uh, okay, so what I'll do then is I'll, I'll plug this into the plant. This one here is the ground side. It'll go on the other side of the plant. Well, we'll see what happens. Don't try it. Okay, now you're going to see this for the first time just like me. Okay, right now the current should be passing through the light bulb and through the plant. Now we'll just check here. Yeah, about 42 volts is coming across. Okay. I don't know if... Uh, anything's going to come up or not. I want to be careful not to touch the leaves. I don't know if I get a bad shock, but I don't want to take a chance. Doesn't seem to be affecting the uh, ladybug at all. But there's definitely a current passing through there. Now that current should be vibrating the soil because it's an alternating current. I'll do, just wait a couple of minutes and see if it brings anything to the surface. Well, right now I'm zoomed in about as close as I can get, at least with the lenses I've got on hand here. And I'm not going to run out and buy a super close lens just for this. But the ladybug hasn't moved. <clears throat> but on the other hand, I haven't seen anything moving around either. And the current is still flowing through there. Oh, and I can't get a shock off the leaves. I tried it. However, there is, a, you know, pretty good voltage coming through, but just no amps behind it. I understand what I'm talking about. Probably nobody else does. Now, this means one of two things. Either there are no bugs in that soil, or the current passing through the soil is not having any effect on them at all. And the ladybug hasn't even twitched. Well, I think the ladybug is sort of like a bird sitting on a high-tension wire. Well, I do actually see something. I was looking for something bigger, but they are so small that they just look like little white specks. I don't know if I can actually capture something that small. That's that's smaller than the grain, a grain of salt. I'll see what I can do here. The reason that I have the plastic bags over those leaves and have them tied back a bit is because I have the switch back on again and I don't want them brushing against the camera. And what I'm doing here is I'm doing a time lapse of those little insects and if they're moving around they'll move around about 30 times faster and they'll be a lot easier to see as you can see. Now, a little insect like that is going to be way too small to suck up with my insect aspirator. You know, I'd suck it up and I'd never be able to find it inside the container. A friend of mine has some close-up lenses and he thinks they might fit my uh, macro lens. So, tomorrow, we'll see if we can't get in just a little bit closer here. See what the legs look like on those little tiny creatures. They must have legs.